Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the new Telos Legend Massive, their wide version of the Legend. This board features Telos's dual camber with center micro rocker. So what that is, is rocker in the tips, camber zone underfoot with a slight dip in the middle. This is gonna help with that torsional flex. You're still gonna get that load and pop underfoot from that camber, and then you've got that rocker in the tips, which is gonna give you ease of entry in and out of turns. This board is available at 155 wide and 159 wide. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a day that was a mix of blue and gray skies, moderate to high winds, warmer temps, chop, slush, chunder, perfect corduroy, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This has that predictable middle of the road park flex to it with three key defined flex points, outside the inserts and right dead center where that micro rocker is between the camber zones. Now you're gonna get more play out in the nose and then it stiffens up underfoot, gets softer right at the dead center, stiffer again underfoot, then softer in the tail. Nothing revolutionary there. The torsional flex is very abundant. You notice that this board will be able to twist. When it comes to stability, it's moderately stable. And by that, I mean you get flap on a groomer and that chatter slightly resonates underfoot. When you get into more rutted out terrain, those big jarring hits, you feel them in those camber zones. It just resonates right back up underfoot. And when you're at speed on a groomer, it's stable. It feels locked in even with those tips slightly flapping. So like I said, moderately stable. When it comes to the load and pop of this snowboard, you can actually boost with it. That flex point right outside the rear camber zone, when you roll back, engages and creates a springboard effect to it. With it having dual camber zones with that micro rocker, it's, it's very minimal in the dip in the middle of this. It's so easy to load this board up. You don't have to think about it. It's almost a skate-like pop, but not truly, because you do have to be slightly calculated with it, but you don't have to be on top of it at all times. This board will launch a side hit, boost a cat track gap or ollie over that fat skier that fell in front of you. When it comes to jumps, you can load up and you're just obviously going to pop a little bit higher and go a little bit further, or you can let the lip throw you and this board will still rebound and get you up in the air. I will say that small to medium jumps are really a strong suit. Not that it can't handle a bigger jump, just that it feels more secure on a smaller feature. So with the width of this board and having rocker in the nose and the tail, you can get sideways, you can press into it and it will hold but you can slightly engage that camber zone with a minimal ankle movement and you're gonna be able to pop out of whatever you're doing. It's a board that doesn't fight you, but it still retains its responsiveness. It's awesome to just pop a little 90 degree ollie, land on the tail, have it hold, pop back out, land back on the tail, pop again, land on the nose and have it hold for you. When it comes to jibbing, it's the same thing. You've got all this surface area with rocker. It locks into that press till you get to the end of the feature and then it snaps back out of it. When you go sideways, that little dip from the micro rocker between the camber zones doesn't fight you. It will cradle around the feature and lock in to the point that you don't have to actually worry about it. Basically, if you know how to jib, you're gonna be fine. For you big footed Sasquatch riders that are learning how to jib, you're gonna be fine on this as well. There's an effortless roll from edge to edge on this board. You don't have to worry about it. It's not powerful, it's not nimble, it's just effortless. You do have the rad bumps underfoot which give you added contact point. And when you're ankle steering, you notice those engage. When you really wanna lay this board over, that center rocker flexes and then it pushes all the power through that camera zone into the tail to let you slingshot out of a turn. Medium mellow carves to hard carves are solid on this board. You don't have to worry about it. When you're locked in, you're just swooping from one side to the other. But then with that engagement of pushing your knee into the center of the board, you can lay this over at the last minute. It's basically good for deep, hard park carves, even if you're outside of the park. Who's this board for? The big footed, twin loving, all mountain freestyle guy. So the big thing with this board is it's a wide version of the regular legend and Having a size 10 boot, I'm not getting the most out of this as someone that would have a size 12 or bigger. But what I did notice was that the flex is forgiving enough that you can play with it, but still retain that snap. It's good on edge, it's effortless to get it to engage. Doesn't 
feel overly powerful or nimble unless you absolutely drive it from your back foot. Basically, it's a well-balanced, wide twin snowboard. So for all you Sasquatch guys out there that are looking for something like that, this is a contender for you. Comparable boards, the K2 Party Platter, the Marhar Lumberjack X, the Battalion Party Wave Twin. Binding recommendations, the Rome Katana, the Union Force, the Ride C8. This has been my review of the Telos Legend Massif. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.